So let's go over how to install QGIS. I'm on a brand new machine here that has never had QGIS installed. So it's a really good opportunity to show you how I like to install this from the get-go. I'm just gonna search for QGIS here in Google. And hopefully this runs quickly. There we go. And I'm gonna just come here and click on download. And you'll see on the QGIS main page, if you go to QGIS.org, there will be a download option there. Website's taking just a minute to load. Okay, so here's the page you come to on the download. I'm just going to skip this and go to the download. Now you'll see a couple of different options. There's three options for installing. One is the long-term version for Windows. I recommend installing the long-term version just because uh, you won't have to worry about updates for quite some time. Uh, you can install the latest version, which gives you access to the most recent features and most up-to-date features if you want some of the newer features there. Um, and then there's the OSGO 4W network installer. With the network installer, you can install any version of QGIS, and it gives you some other options. I prefer to use the network installer because it gives you more granularity over what you install, and you can update individual components of QGIS individually as needed. So this is how I will do it. You can use the simpler versions if you like to, but this is gonna be pretty simple as well. So I'm just gonna click this to install. Um, I'm gonna click on to download the installer right here to run it, this link here. And we'll just download this as the OSGO 4W setup. So now that that's installed, I'm gonna go ahead and run the setup executable. Uh, let's select the express install just to make things easy here and I'll show you how we can update this later. We're going to install the QGIS long-term release. We can also select if we want to install Google, GDAL, or Grass. We'll just keep the LTR for now and click next. We'll accept the license terms for any required licenses. And then we're going to see QGIS install here. Um, this will take a few minutes. It's gonna install everything we need. So I'll pause this while we install and then I'll come back and show you the result. Okay, so our installation is complete. That took about five minutes. Um, it did ask me if I wanted to update the registry and I said yes. Uh, so I'm gonna go click finish here and then we'll go find our QGIS install. And there it is, QGIS desktop 3.4.12. And we will open this up. It'll take just a minute here to open. It's opening on my other screen, so I'll pause this while it goes and pull it on over. Okay, so QGIS is open, and there it is. We are now ready to get started with QGIS. Um, I told you I would show you how this installer can work for updates, so let's go ahead and demonstrate that now as well. Let me just go ahead and open up uh, where I saved this, so the downloads, and if I open up my setup executable, I can come down here, I can choose Express Install, and I can click Next, and I can choose different things to install here, and it will go through and install those again. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna to go to the advanced install. Let's go next. Let's go install from the internet. And let's do just me for now. We can keep these defaults. We'll keep these defaults. We'll keep this default. We'll click on osgo.org for the download. And now we're gonna see options for things we can install. So we have these command line utilities. And you'll see that by downloading or installing QGIS, we already have some of these installed. And we could go and we could change these versions. We could reinstall, we could install from a source, we can keep the version, we can do a new version, we can keep the version we have. We have a lot of options just by clicking on this here. Okay, so these are the command line tools that were installed. Now, I'm gonna minimize this and I'm gonna go to the desktop. And here's how you can update QGIS uh, if you want to. So you can see we have the QGIS desktop long-term release installed. We can change this if we would like to. Um, we can come down here, we have the QGIS LTR full, the LTR full free, we have all those things installed. Let's say that I wanted to install QGIS full um, 
and not the LTR or QGS desktop here, I could just come over here and click on this and get version 3.4.0. And if I click next, it's going to install that alongside the LTR. I'm going to skip that. Um, if the LTR were to update, I could just come in here and I could change this version. You can see the last LTR was 3.16. We could downgrade a version there. Um, we could go back a version. So you can see here 3.16.12, 3.34.11, which is one version before this. And so this is how we can manage these things um, directly in this installer. I'm not going to change anything here now. I just want you to be aware of this. If you forget about this and delete it, uh, you can just download the network installer again, and it will pop up and give you your current installs. So this is how you can work and manage your QGIS installation. And we're just going to cancel this for now. Yes, we want to cancel.